surviving inventions for the World Tag Team titles. This one is simple one fall. Introducing first, from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing 236 pounds, Matt Hardy. For the one thing, the tag champs didn't do inventions job was take up. advantage of injured knee. The knee of Matt Hardy that was injured by Finley right here last Friday night. That same knee that Matt Hardy was out for almost a year back in 2004. Finley hits with a shillelagh. Damian Murdoch took advantage of it. Let's see uh, how Matt Hardy responds here on SmackDown. And from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing 277 pounds, he is one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Lance King. Well, Matt Hardy is physically looking at, uh, at Lance King. John, I, I agree with Matt Hardy. I'm not buying this whole change of heart that Kane and Murdoch have apparently gone through. Call themselves a good sport that they play by the rules. Please. Well, tonight, Friday Night SmackDown is sponsored by the auto parts experts at AutoZone. Get in the zone. AutoZone. And by Just For Men. Stay in the game with Just For Men hair color. And by McDonald's. So Matt Hardy can uh, try to gain some semblance of revenge here tonight against Lance Cade. Matt Hardy, always so intense. Cade very proud of the uh, tag team gold that I want to go on record and say he and his partner Murdoch stole. They cheated to win the championship despite the fact they say they're good sports. I have no problem with that. They did cheat to win the championship. Well, you shouldn't have any problem with it. You spent your whole career doing it, including your reign as champion. Which was the longest in the history of this television yeah, I know, show. Please, I know, a little respect, I know. please. You told us all about it at Vengeance, a night of champions. That was really nice, that announcement that uh, Justin Roberts made. Yeah, the me. one you forced him to read? I want to make sure he got it right. I'm worthy of praise. Saw Lance Cade mouth to Matt Hardy. I play by the rules. Side headlock by Matt Hardy as this matchup gets underway. Lance Cade from right here in San Antonio, Texas. John trained by the legendary heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. His uh, partner, Trevor Murdoch, trained by the great Harley Race. I think I could think of two better trainers to have. A little different body type from oh! Cade Murdoch. Yeah! Murdoch a little more of the uh, Captain Redneck type body type. Lance Cade in tremendous physical condition. And I think he man, reminds me of it, a young look it, look JBL. It. Now, John. Lance K delivered a drop kick, and it did look pretty, and it was nice. But now he's running around the ring, playing to, to our fans, bragging about a drop kick. It was good. It was it was average. I mean, average. Lance K, six foot four, six foot five, great big guy, does a beautiful drop kick. That's not average. Did you ever throw a drop kick? Once. It was on, it was on Taz, and I still hit him low. Lance Cade. Lance Cade reminds me of a young JBL. Good looking, well built cowboy. Throws a pretty good clothesline. Which he stole from me. Matt Hardy uh, continuing the pressure. Cade, of course, the bigger of the two competitors. He has the strength advantage, but you can never underestimate the heart of Matt Hardy. We've talked so much about it over recent weeks. I mean, last week right here on Friday Night SmackDown, Bad knee and all, still somehow was able to pull off a victory against the rough and tough Finley. And that's that ring presence of Matt Hardy we love to talk about. Always knows where he's at. Matt Hardy measuring Lance Cade. Matt is fired up. Tell you, the maturation of Matt Hardy over the past year has been nothing short of amazing. You're absolutely right. It's been incredible the way Matt Hardy has improved his game. Measuring Lance Cade. Oh, maybe going for the twist of fate. What, what, the, heck, what the heck was that? <laughs> I think Cade faked. strategic defense. I think he faked himself out. Oh! Yeah! Oh, maybe he was playing bam! Bam! bam. Maybe Cade was playing possum through all that. Did you see the ring shake? Matt Hardy almost driven through the ring. Hardy, 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 Hardy. 
You see it worked. Whether Lance Cade is really trying to play by the rules or not, he's got Matt Hardy thinking about it. This business is mostly Quick cover. mental. Quick cover. Kick out at two. This business is mental. When you can get your guy off his game, that's half the battle. Well, I think that's one of the things, though, John, that really has aided in the growing up, so to speak, of Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy used to let people get in his head. He used to let people play mind games with him. He doesn't do it anymore. He blocks everything out, personal or otherwise, when he's in the ring. So that's the problem I used to have with Matt Hardy. He worried about his girlfriend. He worried about the fans. He worried too much about things Ooh. that he can't control. What he can control oh. is what happens in the middle of that ring. Did you hear that? The cover. Cade hooks the leg and a kick at it, too, by Matt Hardy. At some point, Cade is going to have to try to realize what he can do to take Matt Hardy out this match. Abdominal stretch and Matt Hardy trying to do the right thing, and that's take that leg that's allowing the balance of Cade off the mat. Matt is doing the right thing there. Absolutely. The only, way to, the only way to get out of this hold is to take out his point of leverage. His whole leverage is with his left leg. Matt Hardy can't breathe here. What, what Lance Cade is doing, he leans on him, he lays on him, he's wearing down Matt Hardy. This is not a submission move, but it's effective. Cade had the leverage for a moment, but Matt Hardy showing yeah. a flurry of offense, but the bigger man. And right when he's out of breath. Oh! Matt Hardy rolling out of the way. Matt Hardy with nearly a sixth sense. Insiguri, back of the head. This could be the turning point of this matchup. We've got a new ball game. If Matt Hardy can somehow get back to his feet and take advantage. Oh, Matt Hardy. A bulldog, and Matt Hardy suddenly in control. Back to the cover, hook of the leg. He's got him, no kick out of two. And this is where Matt Hardy has gotten better. He puts move after move together to wear a guy down. Matt Hardy has become a good finisher in the past year, Went which the, is an art among itself. Went for the twist of fate. Oh, and there's a clothesline. From a guy who won a world championship with a clothesline, I got to say, that knocked, his, knocked him out of his boots. Matt Hardy has no idea where he is. And John, for these two, well, normal tag team competitors, what's it like to compete on a single level when you're out there one-on-one? -on -one? Matt Hardy has, has done a lot of singles matches lately. The advantage has to go to Matt Hardy because you get used to a rhythm. You get used to a rhythm of doing things, turning to your partner and bringing him in. When you're out there alone, wow! Superplex! Cade crawls to the cover. Rolls Hardy over, ah! trying to take advantage. Could pick up the win. There's two, he got him. No, he didn't get him. At two and a half, a kick out by Matt Hardy again. And this is just the, the, the resilience of Matt Hardy. Lance Cade would love to get a win right here in his hometown of San Antonio. Especially over Matt Hardy. Got to say, Lance Cade beating Matt Hardy is a bit of an upset. Oh, twist of fate from out of nowhere! A twist of fate from out of nowhere! Hook of the leg, shoulders down, tuck the arm! Matt Hardy picked up the win! From out of nowhere, the twist of fate! Matt Hardy! And this is what's about Matt Hardy. This is what it takes to be a champion in this business. You gotta be able to get a move out of the blue and score a victory. A submission, a pinball, whatever. That's what Matt Hardy has become good at. Seeing openings. Katie Murdoch may still be World Tag Team Champions on Raw, but tonight, Katie came to Arlington, SmackDown, and Matt Hardy took out Lance Cade. Matt Hardy's so quick, Matt Hardy is so sneaky. From out of nowhere, he hits this twist of fate just when it looked like that one day is going to win Matt Hardy a major championship. Vicky Guerrero's first night as acting general manager continues to roll on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, last month at Judgment Day, Edge would defend his new...